people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Titulaya and today I have a lot of my friends here to help me with a series that I'm starting on my channel which is titled Talk Time with Titi. So we're going to all introduce ourselves starting from Yomi, Demma, Chris, Andrew, Rafi, Charles, Besson, Mila. So the topic we're doing today is <coughs> When guys like a girl, why do they waste time before asking her out? Wait, what is it? When guys like a girl, yeah. why do they waste time before asking her out? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but he likes her though. Yeah, but when I know I'm at the door. Bruh. It's not easy, eh? Yeah. 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 And that's on the, that's on he might, he's not sure video. that the girl likes him back, right? So he has to wait. But you wouldn't know. Yeah, exactly, you wouldn't know. Sure. Okay, so when do you now get, when do you now like become sure that oh, she actually likes you and then you now feel comfortable enough to ask her? She has to give signs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, okay, but like, what? What kind of family? She's at that point where she's worried that you've not asked her out. Chances are she's giving you all her signs. Yes. Yeah. No, because you guys, aren't you guys in the talking stage before you ask her out? So you're talking, you're getting to know each other, you're getting to see if you guys are vibing. If you're not vibing, <laughs> then you can't ask her out. But if you are, why are you not asking her out? Why are you wasting time? I mean, maybe because you person doesn't want to date. Is that like, you don't want to say you feel like that. It's not necessarily like, you know, like, 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 There's no such thing as right opportunity. Really? If you're ready to you're ready. date someone, yeah, you're ready. You're you're ready. Ready. You're you're ready. ready. You're 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 ready. you are ready 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 you we decided that when experience makes us better. Yeah, some people are scared of rejection, um, yeah. like rejection or whatever. But most people are. But I mean, you just need to realize what you want and what you want. Exactly, like you have to ask. But you don't know. Yeah, you know, like you know that I would show my daughter. Why waste your time? True. Sure. Sure. Let, let's be honest. Sure. 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 Let's put it the same. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You're 100 sure that this is what I want. Why waste your time? But yeah. The wow. thing is, you're never really sure. Like, you can't be sure until you try. Sure. So, like, what you said is that when people are waiting for the hits, like, you're not sure. But now you're sure, like, we're pretty much sure that you're sure. But it's just like, I feel like there are just some boys that are very wicked like that in the sense that they will know you really like them. And they will still waste your time. Whether or not you yes. said that, boy. Like, that's what you like, said. Like, 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 like I said, right? So I don't care. You probably <laughs> don't want to. Some people don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. They like you. They're and sure. they like you and they, they enjoy your companionship. Okay. If, if it's say for example, it's just that oh, I'm dating this yeah, person. But really, the thing that really annoys me most about boys like is the fact that those like boys are now making things even more confusing. Yes, because they give you hopes and dreams. Yes, they give you hopes and dreams. Let's not be hopes and dreams. Those guys are still in love, bro. Like, you see the hopes. Like, yeah. well, and like, well, you can't keep on waiting for him to actually like. You know what? Let me tell you, right? Because what I would say in that, in that kind of situation is first of all, you know yourselves. You know what you can see in yourself. If you're not dating someone, like if, 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 if your girl and your boy are in a situation, 
and they are not dating, like they are doing stuff or whatever, they are chilling, they are enjoying themselves in school. She should give her options with them and enjoy herself, depending when they decide to make it official. Because don't deceive yourself. The thing about it is, like, you might you might be vibing around, you guys might be doing stuff, you want to spend all your time with that. But relationship is another level. It's so <laughs> chilling. Yeah, I mean, like, if I if I chilling, you're spending your time. I think I'll say No, no, let me tell you, right? In the, in the sense of the word, let me tell you what it is, right? Spending all your time with someone is kind of like relationship, but I don't owe you anything. Girls don't also do that. No, 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 yeah, no, no, no. Girls also do that. Keeping boys happy. Yes. Let me tell you. But they don't have to break You can have three guys in her life playing different roles. One man. I still. Let me do this. I'm serious. You know the guy. You know what's crazy? Chinese food. Chinese food. So wrong. That's actually true. You know what I mean? And you have the guy. You also. You want to see what's there. Yeah, what I'm saying is, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, right? When you have all those guys, the one that's most painful is after having three guys, the guy that's giving you nice dick, the guy that's buying wow. you things, it's facts, this is it, that's it's the truth. One. If you want to be honest, God bless you, the way you're smiling, you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Then, the one that I feel bad for, right? The nice guy. Because yeah. skills, when they, whenever you have that list, you always have that nice guy. When they're in the yeah. back, yeah. you'll hear them yeah. all. You'll hear them all. be like, you fam, today was a terrible day. That was a small boy. That was stupid. That beat him. That is a victim. Yeah, he's a victim. Yeah, he's a victim. 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 He's a Yo, oh, you are the nice guy. I'm getting something from someone else. I don't need, there's no need to. No, honestly, she's like, oh, I'm going to dance with her. If you are doing something with another girl, eh, will you open your mouth and tell the girl one that, oh, I'm doing something with her too? Yeah, to be quiet. Ah, let me know! Let me know. Yes, yes. Fight on yes. It. It's only foolish to fight for that. Okay, okay, actually, no. But okay, yeah, but yeah, I respect like, you okay. for that. I respect you for to that. Be because most guys, well, yes, most guys that I know won't do that. Where the problem is, is where the guy treats a girl in a way that makes her feel like, oh, he likes me and we're going to, you know, pursue something and then he doesn't do anything and makes her the best friend. I mean, and then they're expecting wifey girlfriend duties where you want her to cook for you. You want her to do your laundry sometimes, like uh -huh. you want her to do nice things for you, yeah. but then you don't yeah. want to take it to the next level because she's already doing things that's required that she's supposed to do in that level before you give it. Now let me tell you, right? In that kind of situation, there's two things going on. The boy is a bastard. Yes. <laughs> then, the he's step, then the girl is an idiot. First of all, if your father gave birth to you. In your house, and you refuse to do his laundry, <laughs> but you came to Canada from Nigeria. Come on, 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 come there's no point. Yeah, I, don't see any <laughs> I feel like to me, I want to go off what Charles said before when he's like, this is all keeping captive. And you were the one that named it. Which means you probably done it before. <laughs> because I feel like uh, you have this girl whoa, whoa. that you know likes you, right? Mm -hmm. Like going back to the original question, you have the girl that you know really likes you. And you apparently don't like the girl, but why are you keeping her captive though? Who? I said <laughs> <laughs> Do that. Keeping boys. Yes. So the boys that actually do that, I just feel like 
I haven't heard of Victor. Because why is why not a guy? You never have a side Well, I've heard of girls holding boys captive. Well, I'll bring up another thing. Fear of commitment, I think. Yeah, that's what. But what I don't understand is why everybody's claiming fear of commitment. Like, not that happened to you in your life. So, what can you say? Your friends are committed. It depends. No, but there's some people, nothing, like, nothing has happened. But also, some people are just scared because of what they've heard from other people. Like, if all my friends, for some reason, are always played, then I'll also be scared. Like everyone in the crew is getting played, or is either the side chick, not getting any money. Then it's just me. Your true, no, that is true. Yes, but then I'm like, you know, I'm not the only one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm the only one. 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 i you see now that you tell her this is what I'm doing. Actually, you know I mean? some guys don't say that. Yeah. Some guys don't do it. Me personally, I believe in doing that because me, like, to be honest, like the older you grow, the more you realize, especially when you both, both, think. <laughs> especially when you know me, that's what that's the way I see, right? Mm-hmm. Especially when boys and girls, like when you find everybody's got their hearts broken or whatever, mm-hmm. like you begin to realize that no one is out here trying to be a fool. It's just disrespect. So you tell them like straight, like, this is what I'm about. The relationship is never happening. Whatever, like I'm not about it. This is what I'm offering: strong, nice, enjoyment, <laughs> enjoyment. You know what I mean? Like it's one. It's that's that's the way I but see. But everyone it. is different. Everyone so is every different. Yeah, not everybody feels like yeah. But that's what I said. Like, you just let go, though. Like it's okay. Cause I'm not like going against it, but I just want to be like when time back I get to some boys after they told you this episode, they will still come back and make it look like. Oh, this girl, you know, wet material, this type of thing. Put it in my head that there's still that possibility that something can happen. And that, that's my problem. My problem is like, even if you said it, like what you think that everybody needs to know what they want, right? Mm. But some boys, even after they said it, this is what I want, they don't act that way though. Like, what would they say? Like, they can say, like, oh, I'm already for a relationship, this kind of thing, let's just be friends. <laughs> Let's just be friends now. One night she just hit me up like, oh, I'm feeling my feels, or I'm in my feels, this type of thing, blah, blah, blah. And then you talk to me like, we're in a relationship. Yeah. Or like, you want something. You, might, like, just already... like, you might just feel like, oh, this guy is just acting like this because he wants this. I mean, I feel like once a guy tells you, they will happen. Just, just remove your, your mind. mind. No, that's Thank you. Just, just remove your mind. Don't, don't, don't think that, oh, you might change my mind. Yeah, exactly. 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 Yeah, except, except if they're like... Yeah, I yeah. think in that situation, don't fall don't fall in love with the potential. Because yeah. he's probably a person who spits some potential out of his mouth don't, don't about, some future, <laughs> don't, don't about don't some future... Like about that. some future things. About some future things. And like, if you fall in love with... Them, because that looks nice. Like, he's made up a life that you're interested in. And you obviously invest in that. But then the person... Not everyone, everyone has some sort of potential, but it's up to them to achieve it or not. So, if you fall in love with the potential and then they don't achieve it, you've played yourself, sadly. <clears throat> so I think we shouldn't, we should try not to fall in love with potential. It's very dangerous. So we said, um, fear of commitment and fear of rejection. Fear yeah. of rejection also not being ready. That's, not a, ready. that's, a, that's a big thing. Yes. That's a big <laughs> not being ready or not seeing the person <laughs> as... Like no, it's a big thing. Because if you get into a relationship and you realize along the line that oh, this is not what I want, then it's going to be way worse to leave. When, exactly. Like, when you're you're like, already already there, there, exactly. But once you like someone, it's cool. You want you want to spend as much time with them as possible. But if you, if you don't, if you're not ready to date, like, to be honest, because dating and chilling, like they're two different things. People are very very different. Like yeah. once they're in the, once they're in a relationship, the work becomes more. It becomes a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because once you're doing so this, that's thing, the that the commitment to where she was. Yeah, also because once you're actually right, I can decide to buy you. Yeah. I can decide to bring you gifts. I can decide to buy you roses. If your birthday comes. Like actually, you buy me roses. Yeah, I can decide. But this is not what buy me roses. No, no, no. Let me tell you, right? The difference is expectation. Let me tell you why. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. if you're chilling in your house right now, if you're sitting here minding your business, doing whatever, and I'm chilling, doing whatever I'm doing, and I decide yeah. to bring you roses. It's not like you're cool. You are happy. No, if we start dating one month into it, Andrew. Where do you go? No, 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 no,
if you have to If you buy me roses and we're chilling, I want you to buy all the other girls in this room roses as well. But if True. I'm the only one you're buying roses, I automatically think when well, I take like, to me, just the mental thingy, like oh, I think it depends on the girl. Oh, I, I wasn't expecting it. It's not that I tell you just you know randomly came to sure. I bought me roses like in my brain. <laughs> but actually, like for a guy that has said, oh, I like you, and you said you like me, and we've agreed that we shouldn't be in a relationship for whatever reason. You bring in roses, which is like a flower, like even flowers generally that we take in, you know, such high esteem. Like that's what you give to your wife on your on a, a wedding day. That's what you give to the person you like on Valentine's Day or something like that. So bringing that up or giving that to me just randomly, as a person, even as a girl, it just like in my brain, it's just like oh maybe even though you said before that you're not, you're not interested in the relationship, maybe at this point you've changed your mind, you know, and it starts to like you know bring this reasoning in my head that is like oh maybe he's now interested in a relationship so i feel like it's one of those things that blurs the lines between oh friendship and relationships flowers especially so i'm not saying like don't give presents or don't give gifts but I mean, there are many other things that you can give but just flowers roses like ah, to me it's just no it's going to blur so many things. i have a question so you you told this girl okay we're chilling with rita we're doing everything that people in relationships do yes. but we're not dating so now this girl meets another mm-hmm. guy and she tells you, okay, I met this guy who's doing the same last thing I want to be. How would you feel? Oh no, actually, let me tell you, right? It stinks. As a guy in that situation, it will hurt. But this is the difference between a childish guy in my mind exactly. and a man. Exactly. At that point, I know that I'm not guaranteeing you anything. I don't like that there's someone else that's giving you what I And that's, that's what I, I, I've told my friends in the past. If you're with a girl and now you guys have reached a level and you don't feel like like it will hurt you a lot to see her with someone else. Like it will hurt you in such a way that you're not able to deal with every time you see her with someone else. You can date that. Exactly. No that that. But if you are truly not willing to date, but you're not ready to date, and she's with someone else, you have no right to, exactly. date, That's it. to place a demand. But you know some boys will tell you, oh, I don't want to date you now, but, but you, you know, can't date it. If I see you with someone else. Someone else, and then you come and start telling me things like you know what I mean. Like, yeah, that one, it cannot be a relationship last one year. You can be in a great situation with someone, and then rush, you date, 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 you date three more. Things don't work out now. You don't even have the friendship because, to be honest, yeah. that's the peak of yeah, a boy exactly. girl relationship. You realize that, I mean, aside marriage, but once you reach a relationship, once you start dating, there's no taking one step back. It's from 10 to 0. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's now, it's, it's do it or risk it all. You know what I mean? Like once you date, you're risking everything. Because if one day you people have a fight and you're like, no, fuck, I'm tired. I should just like, I'm tired. You no longer have that person that yeah. you can call. Now you're missing someone that you had an emotional connection with, someone that had your back when she was going left. So what's, then what is the relationship for? Because if you know you're not trying to marry, because let's be honest, relationship, relationship, relationship. You're not trying to marry for the next, let's say, five years. You're not trying to marry till you're dating. I'm not trying to marry till I'm dating too. Are you trying to marry till my money? Till my, till my money? You no, know, me. I'm just saying. Like I'm speaking. Like imagine, right? I'm not your friend. friend. Does she know? <laughs> Does she know? <laughs> Does she know? <laughs> I'm speaking about the situation. <laughs> no, but let's say Alex and Nelly mm-hmm. have just started dating, right? Okay. So Alex is not trying to get married at 35, till 35. Let's say they're 20. Alex is not trying to get married till 35. Let me give you straight. I'm saying, saying, let's say for the next 15 years, marriage is not different for Alex. And for the girl, she's trying to get married, they're both 20. Let's say she's trying to get married, or she doesn't know she wants to get married as soon as possible. So what what goes coming out of that? Nothing. 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 So why are we rushing? So So, why are you you dating? What do you want dating? Such a heavy load for you to I don't want to be with anybody else. I'm not doing If I can guarantee you someone, I'm not doing any other girl. It's just me and you. We just have this emotional connection. I just cannot date because I don't see a need. I don't want to die down right now because there's no need. Why does dating hold such high? high like why let me call, let me let me answer that question for you because you saying guys are saying dating doesn't matter, right? 
if you see a girl doing what you're saying girls should be doing now, Everybody. you would like, oh, a girl that just has like an emotional connection with the guy, she feels good with the guy, they make themselves feel good kind of thing. Why at the same time still keeping herself open and in the market to so, like other guys? Like, if there's a girl that is doing that now, what will you call her? Thank you. To be honest, let me put that correct. Let me correct something. To be quite honest, let me just say right now. Me and my friends, the guys I know, mm. we try not to fall girls. No, but why? Like, yeah, 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 no, no, I'm just saying, like, I don't care about the average. We are talking about my consensus, mm-hmm. right? Me and my guys, we don't fall girls. You want to be with so everybody from here to Halifax. Mm-hmm. It's your business. Just make sure that you are in such a way that you are not lying. To me, that's what matters the most. No, but Andrew, that's well, why I feel like, you know, there is no way that so why do you have to? Why do you have to? Why do you have to? Oh, it's a contract. You can lie, but it's to me. But yeah, but every relationship, every relationship, every relationship is a contract. Friendship, uh, dating, your this. father, you and your friend, you <laughs> and your father, you have a contract with your friend that you never, your friend will never see you okay. again. Your friend will buy you things, will make you feel as good as possible every time you see him. Friend zone for life. Friend zone for life. You have a contract with the person life. that you are dating, mm-hmm. but as soon as your relationship is done, there is no friendship. Whether you like it or not, everything is a contract. contract. Yeah. So yes. when you when you're with somebody, if you choose to just have sex on a Saturday night, but you're not interested in seeing them on Sunday morning, that's it. You laugh, you, sign you that dance, contract. you everybody's cool with it. We go nobody. So when we see you on Sunday, Sunday night, morning is cool. Exactly. Now if a guy yeah. does that, if a guy goes to the pub and does stuff with the girl with that, he calls her a hoe. In my mind, if he comes and says that to me, that he was a hoe, in my mind, that guy is a child. Straight. That such oh, a guy should oh. not be So, involved. what you're trying to say in general, in my own head, what's that in your is that half the men, or a lot of men, are children. And in my mind, a lot of men are in the But it's true though. It's not trash. Different like, thing. Listen, that's the main reason why I would want to date someone. So that when everybody in Halifax, or when everybody anywhere is seeing me with this person, right? Yeah. I won't be scared that oh this person is still with someone too is still with someone like a girl outside and people are laughing at me that oh uh, is that not the same guy we saw with just so and so that yeah. is right now. That's why women are so cautious about wanting to date somebody because the same guy that will say, Oh, let's you know, let's just let's hang out today. Hang out tomorrow, you're gonna hang out with another guy. And when you are doing it, so, no, you're, you're, you're saying you do care what people say. Yeah, so that's, you know, that's what I was going to say. That's not that's what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was going to say. What you're saying, you care about what girls, other people say. Girls, right? Now, this is perfect because now we can truly see how girls are wired, right? <laughs> because <laughs> what you're telling me is that if people speak about your makeup, okay, I don't give a fuck. However you dress, if you dress and you wear bone shorts, keep anything you want to wear, I don't care. But when they talk about you being a woman. It's a red car. See, everything you mentioned now is all about self-image, right? I care about my self-image. Yes, I don't care. Chill. I don't care. Wait, chill, man. I don't care what people think about my makeup. I don't care what people think about my makeup because, oh, I like the way my makeup looks on myself. But I don't like to be just in the city. Like, I'm going to be dressed in the city. 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 I'm going to be I would like to be dating a guy or apparently be with a guy, have an emotional connection with a guy. Everybody can see I have this emotional connection with a guy. And then at the same time, the guy has an emotional connection with every single let me, girl. Let me, let me, but let that probably means you don't have friends in the city. Because honestly, I feel like if you have friends and they like, for sure, like, let's take a city like Halifax, for example. Best believe every. Body knows somebody that um, like there's a connection somehow, so like there's no way you will not be able to find out. So, a few questions to the general question would be that, like, for the girls, because I feel like that question was like it's more towards the guys, like, why do you waste time? So, now the girls, okay, so this guy might now, you know, he has actually asked you out and everything. Why then do girls waste time before they answer? For me, <laughs> if I if you ask me out and I'm taking my time, my friend you're about to be friends with immediately. Just, no, because really, no, that's, that's because really, really right? no, 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 because, yeah, no, because really, because really, because, 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 yeah. Because from the moment when he's just treating you differently, like oh maybe Charles will call me flower and he doesn't call any of you flower and I feel nice. You know, I'm already starting to feel him. Even if he yeah. hasn't invested anything, he just bought me flower for, for yeah. randomness, you know. But I'm already starting to feel him because I'm like, oh my god, he thinks I'm special, everyone else is it, blah blah blah. Yeah. And then when it gets to the point, so when it gets after time and it gets to the point where he asks me out. I'll be cool. I'll be ready. Like yes, let's do it. You see, there's some girls that okay. like maybe I'm just actually just a very friendly person. Maybe I'm just very touchy. It doesn't mean that 
well, like specific yeah. to like, but it might yeah. seem like I do. So if you ask me out in that situation, like I don't want to hurt your feelings. So you know, take my time. Even though I also not still going face. That's why you know you know you're not going to be able to do it. Why are you going to be able to do it? Because I'm going to be able to do it. No, but I feel like I'm going to be able to do it. No, but I feel like what you're doing is you don't want to say no, but you probably were to expect it because you just thought you guys were on a platonic level of friendship. So you take it's basically just taking time to collect your thoughts and actually be sure that you don't want this because you might not want it now, but you might want it in the future. I know that that's not fair to be a person also. So it's basically taking time to be sure of what you want. And if you know that, it's in no anyway, you know. And I kind of feel girls and guys are the opposite. Whereas when a guy, when he knows he likes a girl, that's when he even invests more and all that stuff. Whereas a girl, when she knows she does not like it, like she'll make it like she'll try it's you know, it's diff it's different when the guy is nice because you don't want to shut him down immediately. You don't want to hurt mm -hmm. him. So you still be responsive to his advances, but personally in your mind you know, you know there's what? nothing. What you here. said just now, you just defined like when we're talking here yeah. earlier about the boy the, the boy part of yeah. We spoke about the girl and the fourth guy. Mm -hmm. That fourth nice guy. Yes. That's the guy. That's Best what you're talking about. No. Yes. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> of course. I'm telling you why. Yes. The girl was saying it. Yes. The girl yes. was yes. saying it. Everybody was not cool with it because it was to the girls. And that's another yeah. thing I've realized, right? Girls yeah. are hypocrites. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the guy that hope and make it feel like if I teach you that my best friend there'll never be instances or incidents where I'll make it like give you like treat you as if I would treat my boyfriend you get it so that's the difference whereas with guys most of the time they won't separate they will eventually but in the moment they won't separate how they treat their best friend from their girlfriend you were fine when it was the girls that were wasting our time because we don't have anything to do you are just here to give your advice to waste Because um, somehow we kind of feel like it's okay for boys to be the victim of of, um, of emotional like like boys are not expected to be emotional. So you taking your time in school because oh you know what the boy get to right. You know we, we I mean we're basically gorillas. We don't have we don't have any emotional. We just you know we do, we don't feel any pain. But if a girl is in the exact same in, um, situation and it's just, I mean the question was why do boys waste their time? But we can ask the exact same questions to girls because why the girls why are you taking your time to answer me matter? Like why are you wasting our time in this place? If you fancy me, then let's mm -hmm. let me if you are going to waste your time. So it's just a double standard that that I don't want to say society has made, but it's also like we're, we're all we're all the victim to it. There's roles that girls play, there's roles that boys play. And girls, every every girl this day on in twenty seventeen we say feminism and equality. But you still kind of expect the exact same thing, you know? I just don't think it's fair. The reason a girl might actually take her time, right, is because she doesn't want to seem desperate. She doesn't feel like, oh, you asked me to the answer in the right? Me, I feel like, like, you don't have plans. Playing hard to get. The way, exactly, yeah. the way she said that, oh, she, if she's taking her time not to answer, you should go to say no. That's yeah. not me. Perfect. If I'm taking my time to answer, you're definitely going to tell you no. yes. No. Oh, oh wow. Well. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, See, yes. Yeah. Some guys I've heard who say she's desperate because I mean it depends on the guy too because the society we live in right now if you reply like immediately the guy will say oh that babe she was too easy like you know that kind of thing that's like girls now they're fronting but then if you like you know maybe tell them oh you want to go and think about it or something and then they might consider that oh this girl it was kind of hard for me to get her so they might even consider treating you better if there's something that's like compared to how they would have treated you before. That's I think. But then as I said, it depends on 
Okay. Depending on like giving the city a living, the place I had is that if I'm wasting my time to answer it, just my my research. So wait, so wait, look with my perfect. So how long will you say? How long will you say? Yeah, you know, it's it's it takes for you to do your research. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm just saying. Anything other than that, I'm not just saying. I don't care. Just don't care. 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 You're going to ask other people. That's so you're basing your decision on other people. Honestly, yeah, that point with a guy when he's asking to be his girlfriend, I believe you guys have gotten to know each other very well. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to take a chance. Why are you doing this? 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 Why are you So if you're comfortable on that level, if I ask you out, I expect you to give me an answer like <coughs> in like in the quickest time possible. Max, you take a day or you sleep over it. You don't tell me, oh, come back two weeks later. Uh-huh. That's when they pay me now by weekly, single day. So for me, it's, it's like you just have to get that get that back of your mind. If you, if you are ready for a relationship, let the person know. Don't string the person along and then say, oh, sorry, I don't want to teach you. If you guys, you've been friends, right? Let me say three years. Mm-hmm. You are the guy. You guys have been really good friends. And you said you like him. So basically, I'm just waiting for him to ask you out. <laughs> and he will not come and ask you out. When the guy has come to ask you 
cat. So you still have to do research. Two days. Two days. No, no, no. Let me do a one day research. What do you want to learn? No, no, no. You're going to think. No, me. No, no, no. Why do you want to learn? Let me tell you. 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 Let me with you for three years. If I'm friends with you for three years, it's a yeah, possibility that we never thought in those three years okay. to be in a relationship with you. Wait, but what's that? 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 Even if you know the person is shining everywhere, this is how you You will not care because you already like the person. So, when you look for someone, <laughs> when, when, when you already like this person, I know the person did something bad. Most girls, even after you know the person did something bad, you still say yes. So, exactly. why go out and do why you, you know whatever you violate? Because you will still say yes. So, you will still go out and do what you violate. Why you know whatever you violate? You will still say yes. So, unless you don't like the guy, but I'm shocked. I'm, I'm one let me, let me, let me, let me. Let me like this guy. No matter no, what the guy is, you will say yes. And that's one reason why I'm saying that. But see, you just exactly like you put my point before where I was saying that for long as you like this person so much, right? You wouldn't think of any of the bad things that they're doing. Yeah. So why can't I now go out of my way to see what other people might think? Like, why are you doing all that? No, no, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to say like, oh, I don't care what they like. I don't say I don't care what they think. But I'm trying to say like, maybe my emotions are clouding my judgment. In the sense that this boy is not really that good for me. So what is the truth that why you cannot why you cannot believe why you cannot believe what is your your your, your own mind? mind. What is the truth that because my friend said this boy is doing this? Because no. because we've also heard of situations where that your friend that tells you don't be that guy come and hate that. Exactly. So what is the truth that you will be there with him? Ah, stop here. No, because because they you feel betrayed, you hate the guy. Oh, they are here. The guy you hate the girl. But who really played themselves? You dropped the biggest You dropped the end! I don't see the need of you waiting two weeks, right? If you really like this person, why are you waiting two weeks? Like, it's better for you to give me an answer right now than wait two weeks because in the space of two weeks, in my mind, I think you're going to ask your friends, right? And you're going to talk about me, making me like the laughing stock of the whole town. Like, you're going to tell your friends that, oh, this guy asked me out, what do you think about him? So it's not like, based on your own personal emotions, it's based on what your friends think about me. That's why I think that two weeks is such a long time. If I ask you out right now, I believe you should tell me, give me an answer, like today or maybe tomorrow. It doesn't matter the amount of research you do. I don't believe you can do enough research to even know the full extent of that guy's history, except exactly. what he tells you. And he will only tell you if he really cares about but you. But you can know enough to influence. That's what you mean. You don't even know. There are things that you don't even know that would have happened to you. That you yeah. can never know. know. That's true. The guy might have shagged your sister, your kid, 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 your so wait, I'm, wait, you know what? This game should be done. Stay in the room! Stay in the room! Stay in the room! Let me play this by you guys. So, yes. I'll ask you out today. Oh, Titi, I like you, whatever. Let's do it. You say, oh, let me get back to you. Then tomorrow morning, you message me. Oh, I will message you. So, oh, 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 I just asked you a question. <laughs> Like research is only done if you guys are not friends. It doesn't work in the situation. Yeah, you guys, it's a nice friends. guy and nice girl. Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 Come on. Because if, 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 because if, if, if you guys are not, because if, if, if you guys have that nice relationship, you tell each other everything. If your manager at work was horrible to you, you go and tell him everything. If he talks about something about his family, like no, you guys are ready and talk to each other. So the research doesn't. This whole two weeks thing, like I just meant, like it, it doesn't have to take two weeks. But personally, like before I go into a relationship with someone, I want to get my facts straight. Like 
when you're emotionally attached to somebody, your brain is not in its right state when it comes to that person. Like that person could probably be hurting you in ways that you don't even know or in ways that you don't think is wrong just because she liked them. So when I say research, I personally mean like I want to know if, oh, is this a big deal? Is this not a big deal? Yes, maybe that might affect the answer that I was going to give to that person in the first place. But maybe it won't. So I feel like to me, it's just a way of even shielding myself from emotional hearts ache and trauma if i can just know and get my facts straight before i would decide to tell the person oh yes i want to date you or no i don't want to date you but i'm not saying that you should take exactly two weeks i'm just saying research has to be done and another thing is like when i mean research i don't mean like oh you have to go out and dig dirt on the person because that's just looking for trouble when you shouldn't be looking for trouble but research could just be like oh if you've been friends sorry for a very long time and all of a sudden this person asks you out. It could also just be like maybe actually talking and thinking to yourself like, oh, do I see myself with this person in a relationship like level? Like, yes. In that situation, when you ask your friends or whatever, it's not just research. You're also asking them, what do you think about this guy? Which is not just what has guy, but do you think he's good looking enough for you? No! And look at the time, and look at the time. To be honest, to be honest, to be honest, those questions you're asking now is, is not really about what, what the guy was about was about before or anything. Now it's, it's about enough. is this guy is he good enough to buy your standards? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Maybe other girl. But wait, let me tell you what is that goes this day. Hashtag Instagram goes. Of course, you're looking for what's on Instagram. I'm telling you. The reason I'm doing this whole research thing, I'm calling it a research because honestly, there's that component that comes in where it's like. I'm trying to make sure that this guy, you know, his head is dead. He really wants to date me. But how do you know? Wait, you don't know. You get to date me. I would jump out of that. I would jump out of that. Now, wait, now, wait. Because some guys, right? Let's go, like, you guys, yeah, let's, let's, let's say whether you guys are the good guys. So, guys, who be playing? So, guys, who be playing? I've been in a situation where some guys will come together and be like, oh, let's see who will get this girlfriend. Yeah. And then don't oh, chill now. Oh, no, wait, chill. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 chill that's now. So chill now. Chill now. So in that sense, they'll get asked out, but they'll not ask out. They'll obviously ask out. Which brings us to the situation where like if in that sense have just said that, oh, this is what I'm not. Let's say oh, I'm like this person. I want you to say yes. Like, it's not I don't want to look like your fool. Man, those are not petty boys. Those are children. Ah, some children are petty. No, there we go. So why are you talking to a children? No, but it's not petty. Why are you talking to a child? Exactly. Like, why are you expecting manly things? I swear, a man has to be petty. Like, what's the thing? A man can be petty. No, yes, that's a man. Give me a man to be petty. I hope you all enjoyed this. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.